Justin. So we were walking uh, with a basketball court to our, all the way that way. Um, I don't know how how much round uh, laps we we did. I don't know a few. Um, then we um, after we finished that we went to the Campo Bello and ordered some Spanish food. We got, uh, it's like yellow, light, ye light yellow rice. Um, it has vegetables in it, like carrots and stuff, with beans, red beans, um, whole chicken. We ordered, because it's like a whole combo. Uh, I ordered um, separate, a medium um, avocado salad. Yo compré marillo ajo con roja bichuela y el grande um, carne pero yo lo corta en pedazos y, y la sal, salada de agua, agua, aguacate <laughs> I stumble in Spanish uh, no, no hablo muy bien en español um, I'm going to be telling you story time why I never learned to speak Spanish good. My mom told all of us siblings we had to learn our, on our own. Watch TV, read the newspaper. If she assumed I knew Spanish, good Spanish in kindergarten. At four or five years old, oh yeah, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna have a note Spanish. And I failed. I failed in kindergarten because of that. So thank you, mom. Thank you, mom, for assuming I knew Spanish. So, so when I talk Spanish, it's my own words. You know, like I, I, some stuff I make it up. Um, I, it sounds like it, it's a regular Spanish word. It might not be. I made it up. I don't really care. Um, not even. Um, my ex, you know, my son's father, ex-boyfriend, Gabriel, I, I was hoping he was going to teach me Spanish and I teach him English, but it never turned out that way, not even with the mom. And now she's like older now and she's telling me, oh, why you, he, you didn't teach him Spanish? And I said, because my mom didn't teach me. Uh, you, you seen the way I talk. She forgot. People piss me off. Piss me off. I was almost gonna become emotional with my son um, because you know, like certain stuff. It, it wasn't they would be mean or anything. He was just talking of stuff and um, wondering why I'm not going out that much. And it's um, yeah, my depression. My depression. It um, not only the anxiety. It's depression. It's, um. I'm starting to feel like, uh, you know, like, should I go out, record for you guys, and, uh, and it's nothing to do with you guys, it's just me, me inside, just, I'm a tug of war, a tug of war, when, uh, um, going through bipolar is not fun, it's not fun, it's just a nightmare, and, um, I know people go to worse than this. So I know that I'm gonna be okay, but I can't help it. I cry and I become emotional. And that's why I do videos for you guys. Um, even if I go through whatever, I'm gonna, it's gonna pass for a little bit. And I can just go to my fun stuff of window shopping for you guys, you know? But, um, hasn't been easy I um I was supposed to at least go to the Puerto Rican Puerto Rican parade in um Central Park in Brooklyn 
but I knew there was going to be so much people by the time I get, get, get on the first bus and it was just going to ruin, you know, like, it was going to, I didn't want to go halfway and go back home. So um, I decided, nah, I'm going to waste my time. I stood home. And I felt bad because I could have recorded a lot of great video for you guys. Um, I just wanted to show, you know, like, different kind of parades. I wanted to show the Puerto Rican parade. I wanted to show the Pride parade. I didn't know there's going to be so much people. Um, I don't know if I heard right. It was June 30th. And then Father's Day is Sunday. I don't even... I don't even know if I want to do anything, so, you know. But I'm here with my son. Um, trying, you know, he, he, my son is helping me out. Help me out. That's why I want him to be my caretaker. And I'm having a problem. Has anybody who follows me on YouTube have a caretaker? Um help me out um what is it that i supposed to do because they keep they keep saying straight medicaid nobody has straight medicaid anymore people have medicaid with um some kind of insurance um and the other thing is i'm still young to have medicare so my sister has medicaid and uh, you know in uh, hmo Plus, she has Medicare. I don't have none of that. You know, like, I have just Medicaid with an HMO. That's it. So, if anybody who has a caretaker could help me out, um, I would really appreciate it. Because I want my son to be my caretaker. I don't want nobody else. Nobody else. He's the only one who could deal with my craziness. <laughs> only him. I'm going to end the video because my son is soon going to finish talking and I don't know if he's going to make me walk more or go back home. I don't know. So, um, I hope everybody is enjoying their day, uh, Angel Treasures, and be safe. Love you.